Good evening. Good evening, Casa Grande Union High School families and students. We're excited to have you as we begin another year of uh, incredible excellence. Um, welcome to the school year 2020-2021. Um, we are recording this meeting and we will provide a link to it after the meeting. Um, we'll email that out to families. My name is Brian Mab. I'm the principal here at Casa Grande Union High School. And uh, we are excited to start off the year. It certainly wasn't the year we had hoped for in terms of uh, some of the craziness that has gone on with COVID. And we appreciate your understanding and your patience as we all learn together how to do this year. We have not given up on our vision here at Casa Grande Union High School. Our goal and our pursuit is living the pursuit of excellence for lifetime achievement. We do that by inspiring excellence and, and by providing globally competitive educational and career opportunities for all of our students. This year, we're continuing our goal of Cougar Pride, reminding our students that we strive for these areas, that we believe that it's important to find persistence and to continue to grow through trials and adversary to uh, be our best and adopt a growth mindset, to be respectful for all people, ourselves, and for property. To be involved, we know that as students are more and more involved in school, all of the research and evidence shows that they are more successful. As we enter this school year with COVID-19, we know that that sometimes can seem difficult. Involvement might look a little bit different, but we are looking for a variety of ways where clubs and sports and other activities can continue and exist, even if it's in a virtual format. And of course, we want to make sure that we continue to instill self-discipline, that it's important that we regulate ourselves and continue to apply what we've learned to that self-discipline and control as we continue to strive for excellence in all that we do. We have a proud legacy here at Casa Grande Union High School, and we're grateful for all of our alumni who have made Casa Grande Union High School an excellent place to be, and that breeds and fosters excellence in all that we do. We have a variety of communication platforms, and as things are more and more digital, this becomes increasingly important. We encourage you to please have your up-to-date contact information on file with us as we use email to communicate primarily as well as your phone numbers. We encourage you to check your email that you've registered with the school often for important updates as we continue to move forward. Of course, we will continue to post updates on our website at cguhsd.org. We also have an app that you can download on your phone to have push notifications and uh, select features to be able to stay updated with what we have going on each day at school. And then we would encourage you to follow our social media, to like us on Facebook at CGUHS, as well as to follow us on Twitter at CGUHS um, underscore Cougars. Sorry for the typo there at the bottom. To access our phone app, you can get that through the Apple Store or on Google Play. You can also scan the QR code there on the flyer. We have been working hard since we've uh, all been impacted by this pandemic. Our staff started working last year on our online model as we move forward with curriculum development. They've been provided professional development on a lot of the different learning platforms over the last two weeks to brush up and to make sure that we can provide a great experience for all of our students as we use Microsoft Teams, Blackboard, and Edgenuity to help our students in this online world. We would encourage you as we begin this year to please check your devices. Um, students, please make sure that you log in sometime tomorrow and make sure your device is working so that you're ready to log in early on Monday to ensure that you can start classes on time. And if you need tech support, to call in at 520-316-7000 to make an appointment to address those tech issues. We just had an important update with a special governing board meeting this, this afternoon where it was decided that the in-person instruction through the hybrid learning model will be delayed until September 14th. And so at that time, unless it's, uh, unless it's declared unsafe to do so, September 14th will become the new start date for any in-person instruction. With that in mind, all students will begin learning on Monday, 
August 16th as we begin the start of school in an online environment. Sorry, August 17th. Our first day of school will begin for all learning models in an online format. To access your classes on Monday, you will start at our website by going to www.cguhsd.org. There you'll find access to a video. That video was also emailed out to your accounts earlier, and you can watch it to get further instruction on how to access your class teams meetings that all of your teachers will be using Monday morning. In the top banner, that green banner across the top will be updated tomorrow with the link for students to be able to access that content. They'll watch that short introductory video. And then they will click on the link to join their Microsoft Teams meeting. They will get to a calendar and in the right hand side of that calendar when they right click on it, they will be able to click join to be able to join their classmates with their teacher live for some introductory meetings during their classes. We hope that makes it a little bit easier and simplifies access to those classes. Of course, if you have questions or are unable to get on, you can call us at the school. And then you will be live with your teachers in a virtual Teams meeting to get more instructions and information about the day and how school will continue. Casa Grande Union High School has two learning models that were, that were decided between at registration time, an online model versus a hybrid in-person model. The online model utilizes a program called Edgenuity that allows students to work somewhat independently and self-paced. Casa Grande Union High School teachers are the teachers behind the scenes in the Edgenuity program and curriculum. Students will be enrolled in three courses per quarter and are expected to complete six, quarter, six courses per semester. Attendance is a minimum of four and a half hour days actively working in the Edgenuity programs. As said before, it is more self-paced than the hybrid in person. We know that communication is key for each of these models and encourage our students to stay in contact with their online teachers. There is an opportunity to transition to modified in person only at semester break. We would remind you that even though you are on an online format, you are still part of Casa Grande Union High School and are Casa Grande Cougars. The hybrid in person model is much more like our traditional school model, with the exception that while it is unsafe to be present in school, we will continue instruction in a remote learning environment. This is where the majority of our students have been selected to attend. When safe to return, as said before in September at this time, we will split our students in two groups, a group A and group B, which will be determined by grade level in an alpha split to try to provide as equal a number for both days of group A and group B for instruction to help minimize those on campus so that way we can continue with some social distancing practices. Instruction will be through Microsoft Teams and Blackboards while they are in the virtual world. When they are in the in-person hybrid model on campus, they will go from class to class as normal. And on off days, they will receive assignments that they will need to work on outside of the virtual classroom for um, turning in later that day on their own as a continuation of the assignments in the class. In these classes, students work together and it is much more like a traditional class setting. Beginning this Monday, students without internet access may participate in free on-site learning or students who have special needs, who have contacted their case manager and made arrangements can come on site in limited groups to provide those services. If you believe you need access to these services, please contact Melanie Kieser at her email address mkieser at cguhsd.org for more information. Beginning this week, all students will be on our first week bell schedule with periods one through six happening in the morning and assignments in the afternoon being done independently at home. During these each period, students will be logging in through Microsoft Teams 
following the directions that were earlier presented for a virtual classroom period of instruction. After the first week of online instruction, we will begin rotating those classes with periods one, two, and three on Mondays and Thursdays, periods four, five, and six on Tuesdays and Fridays. Wednesdays, all students will come to meet periods one through six prior to lunchtime. In the afternoon, teachers will have office hours, individual tutoring, small group instruction, and be accessible for questions via phone, email, and virtual team meetings. Students will be expected to continue their learning by finishing the projects that were assigned and discussed earlier in the day. Once it is determined safe to return to school, we will follow a hybrid in-person instruction bell schedule. Each of these bell schedules is available on our website by going to the tab for families and looking at bell schedule for regular or virtual learning. At this time, I'd like to turn our um, some time over to our new assistant pr principal, Mr. Kevin Voigt, for some discussions around attendance. Good evening, this is Kevin Voigt speaking. Uh, as Mr. Mab mentioned, I'm one of the new assistant principals at Casa Grande Union High School. Um, as far as attendance goes, it's still going to be important, even though we're in a different environment to start the school year because of COVID-19. If your student has selected the AOI model through Edgenuity, as mentioned earlier, it will still be expected for them to complete and progress through class classwork for four and a half hours in the day, and that's Monday through Friday. So it's important for them to log on and still progress through work, even though it is self-paced and they may set the times. For those who chose modified in-person or synchronous schedule, while we're in the online period before we have students back on campus, they still need to log into their Microsoft Teams and follow the schedules that were just presented in this slideshow for their attendance purposes. Should there be a circumstance that arises that will not allow a student to attend their classes, please contact Ms. Fiore. Her email and also her phone and extension are listed there. This would include medical absences. This would include bereavement, as well as any other unforeseen circumstances. Please contact her within 48 hours so she can update that information. As a key to our success here, be on time, be early. Um, we're here to support you, and if you have any concerns, we'll have some technical support contacts for you available throughout the slideshow. On our campus, there's a series of student supports, as mentioned earlier. We have math and reading intervention programs carrying over from last year. We have our Johnson O'Malley program, which is designed to support Native American students on campus. We have a migrant opportunity program. We also have a school interventionist and mentoring programs to help students be successful on our campus. We also are starting up this year a new program called the Jobs for Arizona Graduates. That is going to be run by our school interventionist, and this is an excellent program that helps students who had struggled in the past find success at the high school level and then beyond in the workforce. We also will continue tutoring. We have a new social worker. We have a link crew program, which is designed for upperclassmen to support freshmen as they're going through and starting their high school journey. We have Freshman Academy, and we have many more supports. We're here to help you and support you through your high school experience, even in this challenging time. Now, obviously, since both groups of our students, AOI and our modified in-person, are gonna have to start online this year, it's important for us to understand our online norms. So here's some tips for success for students in our programs. Number one, develop a consistent, quiet, and clean space to work. The second point is that the student handbook behavior expectations are still in place for the online learning environment. So here's a general guideline. If it's something that's not acceptable in an in-person classroom at school, it would not be acceptable in the online environment either. The third item, school appropriate attire is required to participate in video classwork. So dress as if you are coming to school when you're taking part in a video classroom in the synchronous learning environment. 
The background environment visible in your webcam should only include school appropriate items and images. So make sure that you have an appropriate space to work without any imagery in the background environment that would be inappropriate. Number five, discipline matters will be fairly and consistently enforced. We will follow the, uh, the student handbook uh, consistently. Item six, if you have any concerns, contact your teacher with any questions that may arise in a timely manner. So if you're confused about something, reach out to your teacher, they'll get back to you and they will support you and help you out. And then finally, item seven, be patient and flexible with your fellow students and your teachers, as this is a challenging time for everyone. We'll work together and we'll get through it. Thank you, Mr. Voigt. Additionally, our students will have student IDs available to them once they return on campus. The, these IDs play an important part and students should plan on having them with them at all times as it provides information about whether or not they're attending any of our special activities such as CAVITs, um, have a sports pass, or what day of instruction they should be on, whether they're part of Group A or Group B, and what hour lunch they'll be attending. At this time, we'll turn the time over to Mr. Randy Robbins to discuss our athletics, student clubs, and activities. Hello Cougar families. It's been a long time since we've been together. It's been exactly five months since uh, since of spring break. Um, a lot has been going on uh, since uh, since that time. Um, but we will have fall sports uh, this year after having a meeting with the AIA. Uh, they will. Uh, there's my contact information for parents. And if you want need to get a hold of me in the office, and there's my uh, my assistant, Cynthia Soto. She does a great, outstanding job here in the office. For the fall sports, you know, as, as I've said, we are uh, scheduled to play fall sports. In those dates, we got Spirit Line starting on the 17th with Coach, coach Katie Kramer. She's the head coach, cross country on August 24th. Coach Mark Serificio, swim and dive on the 24th with head coach Kim Bettina. Girls volleyball will start on the 31st, head coach Matt Reeves, and September 7th is coach Jake Barrow. And you have all their contact information right there to get a hold of them to get a, uh, for further information. Also, with the, with the pandemic going on, all of our sports and student clubs will be following CDC and AIA guidelines for participation. And before our uh, coaches uh, go out on the field for practice, they have to submit uh, a practice plan and schedule before they start practice, utilizing the COVID, uh, COVID protocols. Also, for our clearance, athletic clearance checklist, okay, physicals. Returning athletes must have a physical on file in the athletic office. However, the AIA made some exceptions for this year due to the pandemic. If you have a physical on file last year here in our office, you do not have to get another physical. If you played sports last year or band or cheer, you have a physical on file in our office. The AIA said you do not have to get another physical because due to the pandemic. But uh, however, new athletes or freshmen or someone new to the district have to get a physical. And the only other exception they made is for athletes who've been injured, you have to get a physical to clear yourself if you have an injury. For example, if I hurt my shoulder and I sat out the year because I hurt my shoulder, I would have to get a, another physical to be cleared. Um, transfer athletes, you have to fill out an AIA form 550 and it's on that website, www.aiaonline.org. Also, there's a participation fee of $50 per sport. However, <clears throat> we've had this before. If you play two sports in the same season, I'm only going to charge you one fee. I won't charge you two fees, and we have athletes that are multiple sport in the same season. So I only charge you one, one fee. And for your clearance slip so you can practice, See Ms. Soto. And coming soon, probably the next week or so, we're going to turn this process into an online process. We're just finalizing a few documents to be uploaded 
and then we're going to have an online registration process. As soon as that's ready, I'll get that information out to all your families. OK. Once we're in season, we have a no pass, no play policy. You know, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you have to maintain 60% or higher in every class. Pass your grade checks, which is done daily, and, and we, we look at it on Thursdays, okay? You know, we have a virtual model of, of a grade check and also for the hybrid model, learning. One thing I want to stress to parents and, 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 and the students, please establish a relationship with your teachers because our teachers do an outstanding job of working with our athletes and our students who are involved in activities. They do a great job. Just learn to develop and that communication, that relationship with the teacher, because our teachers do a great job of working with our kids. OK, student clubs and activities. OK, we have a, a, a variety of clubs here at our school. I mean, we have so many great clubs. Uh, I mean, we have, you know, DECA, FFA, Key Club. They're outstanding clubs. We have CTE clubs. OK, we have athletic team clubs, so we have a lot for you to get involved with and uh, to get involved here at our school. So please get involved, especially you freshmen. Get involved early. Transportation. The one thing I'll say about transportation is uh, when we get into the uh, hybrid model in person, what we'll do is we have an activity bus that'll leave between 6.15 and 6.30 after practice for kids who need to ride home after sports practice or if they're here for a club meeting, there's an activity bus that will run, but it only it will run during when we're in a hybrid model when we have kids on campus. It won't be run when we're just virtual. And if you have any more questions or information, please contact me. Um, you'll get this slide or you get this presentation at the end of the to, tonight. Just give me a call if you have any questions. Thank you and look forward to seeing you guys when you get on campus. Thank you, Randy. We appreciate all your work. And uh, again, uh, we know that our students, when they're involved in school, um, they are more successful academically. So we encourage our students to get involved in a club, extracurricular activities, our CTE programs, um, our athletics, you name it. There's a little bit of something for everybody. And so thank you for all your work there. Um, we know that food services are an important part for a lot of our students. Um, during this pandemic, while we remain in an online environment, food service is still available for pickup. Meals can be picked up from the parking lot of Cass Grand Union High School during these times, Monday through Friday. A morning pickup from 6.30 a.m. to 7.45, and again, one from 10.30 to 11.30. You will need a student ID or a copy of the student's ID or student schedule to confirm that they're a student in order to pick up meals from the school. More information is found in the food service website that's listed here, as well as their costs and some of the different uh, breakfast lunch items. Additionally, on the food service website, you can get information about free and reduced lunch um, applications, and you can also uh, download funds in order to purchase those meals. Unfortunately, they will be not they will not be able to take any sort of cash at the time of pickup for meals. So you'll need to make sure that that is deposited into their account online or provide a check by mailing it in. If you have any questions, again, you can email or call food service and their contact information is on their website. Once we begin the hybrid in person learning, transportation updates will be located here on our website at cguhsd.org. Click on the transportation button and it will provide you more information about those bus routes um, once we begin in person instruction. We would encourage you to continue to check your son or daughter's progress. We know that this is important to you and important to them, and that family partnership and helping them stay on track is essential, probably more now than ever, as a lot of this learning is taking place at home. In order to look at their grades, you can go to Power School Grades from our website. Click on Power School Grades, log into your parent Power School account, 
with your parent username and password. Click on sign in and then click on grades and attendance. From there, you can also click on a teacher's name and email them. That information is also available on our website under our staff directory. Our counseling department, of course, is as Mr. Voigt pointed out, is one of our resources and interventions to support students academically. They provide a variety of resources for student planning, including planning for college and career beyond high school, helping to set their goals with their grades, but also with what courses they need for graduation and to meet requirements as they move forward to college and post high school secondary goal, uh, career goals. They are also responsive to many of the social emotional needs through individual counseling, small group counseling, or even crisis responses. They also help with scholarships by planning for higher education, military or the workforce, and they track and encourage our students to stay on graduation and also help us to access um, various funds through uh, government um, agencies like the FAFSA in order to get scholarships. In order to contact your son or daughter's counselor, their appointments can be made through their secretary, Charmaine Martinez, or emailing them directly and you can see the different counselors with their last name uh, alpha split for the students that they service. This is Norma Sanchez works with our students last names A through F. Dr. Melissa Gallahar works with students last name H and I and K through M. Seton Moraldi works with those students last names G and N through R. And finally, Mrs. Mary Donnelly works with our students last name J and S through Z. We know that this pandemic has caused a lot of anxiety for a lot of different uh, people. As a result, we have a variety of different precautions in place to try to help keep everybody safe. We ask this year that uh, you don't come on campus without an appointment as we are trying to limit visitors and different exposure for students and staff. Masks are required. We are requiring and asking a practice of social distancing. Please keep your son or daughter home if they're not feeling well. We have increased cleaning and sanitizing procedures. For more information about our COVID-19 precautions and to see our reopening plan, you can access that on our website, again at cguhsd.org. As we closed last year rather ab abruptly due to the pandemic, many of our students were asked to keep devices and textbooks at home. We were all hopeful to be able to start in person this year. Unfortunately, that did not pan out. As a result, if students still have a textbook or other school materials that need to be returned to the school, we will be doing a drop off this next week, Wednesday, August 19th through Friday, August 21st. The times for those drop offs are 7.30 a.m. to noon and 1 to 4 p.m. This will be a drive through drop off in the student parking lot by the flagpole in the front of the office. It is as simple as just driving up and dropping up, dropping it off with the staff there. We encourage our students to do this so that other students who need access to those materials will have access in as soon a, a manner as possible. We appreciate you helping with this. Of course, there are a variety of great and positive things that are supporting our students. One of those was instituted by our superintendent last year, his superintendent's challenge, which challenges our students to continue to strive and serve their community and the people in the community. They can earn recognition for their service as they earn 50 hours or more per year in community service by their senior year or 200 hours total in four years, where they will receive a superintendent's challenge graduation honor court and certificate. If they complete 200 hours of community service in one school year, with hours beginning June 1st until the deadline, they can receive a varsity letter. The paperwork and more information is also on the website at cguhsd.org. We know that Casa Grande Union High School has a long tradition of excellence. We are proud of all of the different programs and activities that our students are involved in and their hard work and effort to be excellent in everything they do. Whether it's from our career and technical education CTE programs, such as culinary, construction, 
ag science, FFA, child care, automotive, engineering, marketing, bioscience, and so many more, all of which are award-winning. Band has received numerous awards. Academics with a letter grade of an increased uh, grade of B. AP courses, call, or Central Arizona College um, classes being offered. A wonderful JROTC program and scholarship dollars that continue to go into the millions. We know that this is how we're going to help our students find the best future they can possibly have. We are proud of our tradition of excellence and we know that our students will continue that tradition. Thank you for joining us this evening. Again, this program was recorded. We will be sending a link out to it shortly for those that may have missed or come in late. And again, we know that as we start off this school year, there will be a variety of challenges. We appreciate your patience and understanding as we get underway and know that we are doing everything we can to ensure a safe and wonderful school year. Thank you again for joining us. Have a great night. We'll see you on Monday, Cougars.